Next race here at Wincanton. It's the three mile, three furlongs handicap chase. The Desert Orchid handicap chase for horses rated up to 120. Yossi Maith, Darren Thompson, Cy Ram, Graham Clutterbuck, Bedtime Stories, Craig Beckwith, Lily Branches for David Hooley, Toulon Ballad, James Shea, Plain Lukey, Martin Leadham, Motifara, Dani, Alex Cherry, and Pyrasantha for Graham Clutterbuck as well, I think, there. So they're off and running the tape scope and the starters let them go and we've got this high camera angle here you can see those horses from that bird's eye view just jostling for position a little bit early doors some of them trying to get some cover in behind this early leader that is Toulon Ballad as they all get over the first safely Yossi Maith ridden along for a few paces just out of the back of that fence I think the jockey wants that one to be a little bit closer to the lead so we've got just over three miles left to travel here it's three mile three furlongs in total so a long way to go 24 flights that these horses have to navigate and Toulon Ballad didn't seem to want to take off at all to get over that one just plowed straight through it so a bad mistake early on and Pyrosantha and Syram are racing just in behind that one Syram being held back a little bit but jumped that one really well and moved past the other horse running in the same silks there. We've got playing Lukey out towards the centre of the track, racing alongside Motifared uh, Denai. And as they go over that next flight as well, all of them get over that one pretty well. So towards the rear of the field at the moment, we've got Lily Branches for David Hooley. That one's the back marker. And we've got Bedtime Stories over towards the rail as they pass the big screen. And a lot of race goers there and pass what will be the winner's post. And they do that final circuit of the track here at Wincanton. So as they go over the mud track there, it's still too long ballad in the lead and being settled back down after that early mistake and jumped that one much better. Syram jumped that one uh, much more uh, quickly and fluently than Pyrus Santha. Yossi Maith has jumped forward and is now into uh, a share of third place as they go over that water ditch. And another slow jump from Pyrus Santha allowed Yossi Maith and Motifara Dene to move past that one. Lily Branches and Bedtime Stories still being held up uh, towards the rear of the field at the moment so Toulon Ballad took off really early there and Yossi Maith has fallen so Yossi Maith didn't get over that one well at all and crashed out upon landing Toulon Ballad took off quite early but still jumped it pretty well we've lost another one there bedtime stories is unseated towards the rear of the field so some less than impressive jumping so far and two of them already out of the race and that leaves us with six horses remaining uh, with quite a few fences left to jump 15 or so fences left to jump and you can see there that Toulon Ballard jumped that really well but Moda Fered Dene, Syram and Pyrensia, uh, Pyrosantha all lost a bit of ground there going over that fence didn't jump it particularly well Lily Branches has jumped pretty well so far and is now no longer the back marker and is travelling strongly uh, up alongside those runners from the Graham Clutterbuck stage and plain Lukey is now the back marker and you can just see one of those loose horses just in behind that one uh, hopefully not going to cause any issues given those uh, uh, loose riders are, are towards the back of the field so as they start swinging right-handed here we've got under two miles left to travel it's two long ballads still in the lead there and the all green silks James Shea with a red hat has a good five or six length lead over Motifara, Dene, Syram, Pyrancia, uh, Pyrosantha. Terrible at pronouncing that one, aren't they? Sandwiching that horse and jumping it better than Motifara, Dene, who got a bit too much air time on that. Uh, and Lily Branch is still travelling really strongly for David Hooley in those old purple silks. And uh, jumping pretty well as well. Playing Lukey the jockeys just had to give that one a few reminders so far to keep it in touch uh, at the rear of the field as they come over the next and Toulon Ballard's jumping has been very good apart from that early bad mistake and remains to be seen how, how much of a toll that's going to take on that horse when push comes to shove uh, in a circuit's time so still 12 and a half furlongs left to go and getting over that one that was a really nice jump from Pyrosantha uh, to jump past the stable mate there and close the gap ever so slightly on Toulon Ballard who is still being given a very easy lead out in front as they come to what will be the last fence in the circuit's time. And they've still got a good 10 fences or so left to navigate here at Wincanton. It's Toulon Ballad that has the lead from Pyrosanther and Syram. As again, they come past that big screen and they're about to go off on their final circuit here at Wincanton. Toulon Ballad, a lead of a few lengths now as Syram and Pyrosanther who keep passing one another uh, over the last circuit or so an exchange in places but are now getting closer than ever to Toulon Ballad but again Toulon Ballad slightly quicker 
uh, over that fence and it just allowed her to get a bit more breathing space again up in front as it starts to turn right-handed. Pyrosanthra and Syram in second and third as they go over the next. Really good jump from Pyrosanthra over that water jump. Lily Branches still travels really strongly in those old purple silks. Really is travelling smoothly. Uh, Mutafara Dene, who was just in behind the front runner earlier on, is now just trying to be pushed along for a few strides there over that fence to just remain in contention. And plain Lukey still seems to be on and off the bridle uh, at the rear of the field for Martin Leadham. So they go over that next, and it's still Toulon Ballad that has the lead. We're into the final mile here at Wind Canton. In the Desert Orchid Handicap Chase, it's too long ballad of a lead of only around two lengths now. A Pyrosantha, Lily Branches, moves up into third and is just tracking those leaders, long-time leaders, ready to pounce. Once we start to go into the home straight, Motafara Dane is still travelling well enough and has passed Syram, who has now moved toward, more towards the rear of the field after racing up just in behind the pace for the majority of the race. And Plain Lukey is still trying to stay on, has been on and off the bridle, hitting many a flat spot, but is still going to try and stay on into this race as we start to see things unfold in the final five furlongs. Toulon Ballad getting to work now. He's going to try and string them out and put them under pressure. And for the first time, we're seeing the jockey on Lily Branches having to get to work and the response is looking pretty promising for David Hooley as Lily Branches is now starting to move forward to try and close the gap. Pyrosantha, Syram still trying to get back into it. Motifer Dene looks a touch one pace. But Lily Branches makes a mistake there just as it was looking to try and close the gap. And that's allowed Toulon Ballad to extend the lead again. So it looks like the winner's going to come from this first three. Toulon Ballad, the long-time leader. Lily Branches starting to get going again after making that slight error at the last fence. Oh, Toulon Ballad makes a mess of that one. Lily Branches, much the better jump, and is now going to smoothly move into the lead for David Hooley. So it's Lily Branches now passing long-time leader Toulon Ballad as we're into the final couple of furlongs. Oof, the two took off in the air together, and both of them got over it safely, and then neck and neck as we come towards the furlong marker. Toulon Ballad maybe still has his nose in front and is looking very game here at the front so is the much better jump there from Lily Branches over the last and Lily Branches now has a lead over Toulon Ballad who's gamely fighting back refusing to give way so it's between Lily Branches and Toulon Ballad as they come to the line Lily Branches is holding Toulon Ballad off and Lily Branches wins the Desert Orchid handicap chase for David Hooley Travelled really strongly throughout, jumped very well with the exception of that one slight error, four out, but had plenty of time to regain its composure and had a really good ding-dong battle with Toulon Ballad, but was able to see it off with a better jump at the last. Lily Branches wins it. By ahead, over Toulon Ballad for James Shea, Pyrosantha for Graham Clutterbuck back in third, plain Lukey stayed on, some late headway there for Martin Leadham in fourth, and Motta for Red Dene. Uh, distant fifth there for Alex Cherry, but a really good battle between the front two and a win of the Desert Orchid handicap chase for David Hooley with Lily Branches.